Welcome back to our headless site building journey on Wix. In the previous episode, we learned a bit about headless and how to set up your project. In this episode, we will learn about session management. Before we get started, what is session management? Session management ensures that users' identities and their session data is protected, prevents unauthorized access, and provides a continuous user experience. So for example, adding items to a cart or tickets to an event the visitor reserves, these are then reflected in future calls made by that site visitor using the same tokens. In Wix Headless, we use the OAuth 2.0 protocol. When a visitor arrives at your site, the very first step will be authentication. They will send a request to our authent authorization server. The authorization server sends a response with two tokens. One is an access token and the other is a refresh token. The access token is the key that's going to grant access to specific resources on our server and it's valid for a limited time, which is about four hours in our case. The refresh token is then used to obtain new access tokens when they expire. It's long-lived and stored securely in a cookie for future use. Once the tokens are set for the Wix client, Wix client will manage the tokens, generating new tokens when ne necessary without you needing to do anything. Now, with the access token in hand, the website visitor can interact with our server and the Wix API. So for example, if they wanted to retrieve some product information, they are sending a request to our server that will be sent along with that access token. And the request could be something like get products. Then the server will process the request using that access token for the authentication and respond with the requested data. This is what we're going to do today. So in the previous chapter, we initiated the client. This is the code here that you wrote for that. But before we write anything new to manage the session, let's take a look at what's going on in the browser right now to see that there are no cookies saved at all. Run Yarn Dev to get your local host up and running. Then open your dev tools and open the cookies. You will see there's no cookie saved here. Now let's start by creating and storing a persistent user session. To do that, we will create a file called middleware.ts. In here, we will check a visitor's session status when loading every page. Then before making API calls, check if a session cookie already exists in the page request. This function will run before every call to the next server. At the top of the file, import create client and OAuth strategy from the Wix SDK and next response and next request from the next server. The logic for our middleware is contained in a function called middleware. If the cookie's not found, it's generating new visitor tokens using auth generate visitor tokens, and it will store them in a session cookie to create this new anonymous user session, which will persist when the visitor uses the site from the same browser. The function generate visitor tokens returns a promise that resolves to an object containing two different tokens an access token with an expiration time that is used for resuming the visitor session. This type of token expires after four hours and the refresh token for generating a new access token. Use this when the access token expires. Once you have tokens, they are mostly managed by the Wix client. A tip if you are looking for more control to manually confirm or renew an access token, you can actually pass your tokens as arguments to generate visitor tokens. I will link the docs into the description if you would like to learn more about this method. Next, open the file we created last time called usewixclientserver.ts. To get started, you will install the cookie pass package and types if you are using TypeScript. Next, you will import cookies from JS Cookie and in the OAuth object, add your tokens. If you already have visitor tokens, you can use them to resume a visitor session. You can resume a session when creating a client by passing it existing tokens, as in this example, that reads the tokens from a cookie. Now, run Yarn Dev to see it in action the cookie has now been set. So you've made significant strides in your headless site building journey today. As we continue to explore the intricacies of building a headless site on Wix, you'll want to stay tuned to deep dive into other parts of Wix business solutions. The next episode, you will learn how to add a blog page to your site using the Wix CMS.